Hello friends, it's me, your old pal Max West. I draw picture books as well as comics, and we now have nine days left before the launch of Hilda and Richie's Wizard, my second picture book on Kickstarter. That's launching on Wednesday morning, January 5th, Wednesday. And in this video, <clears throat> I'm going to be coloring in this. This is part of a featurette that will be in the uh, uh, be available for Kickstarter backers. All right, this is the inks have dried. I've already taken care of the ears. Now it's time to uh, work on their, um, I'm going to work on their fur first. I have an orange alcohol marker. All right, let's get started here. Again, markers are my, one of my favorite mediums to work with. Reproduces very well. You can lay it down quick. Markers can also produce, produce some neat effects. Personally, though, I, I just like keeping it simple. I just basically do flat coloring. I am thinking in then Held and Richie's next book, I just might do something a little more complicated. Might do some more backgrounds. Maybe blend in some other mediums, too. Maybe some more colored pencil. Maybe some inks or watercolors. But yeah, I'm getting ahead of myself here. All right. <clears throat> I wonder if this orange marker has just about had it. Well, not to worry. I have a few more in storage I'm planning to use. For a uh, featurette during the Kickstarter at various intervals when we hit our funding goals like 25% funding, 40% funding, and so on, I release a few pages at a time of a featurette I'm doing called Meet Hilda and Richie, where I talk more about the characters, I reveal their last names. You know, the place they live, the country of Foxland. I mean, this is a lot of material that isn't in the, uh, in the books at this time. I want to give some depth to their world. I mean, this isn't just a mere children's book. I want to make it feel like this is a real place. It's existed for hundreds of years. It's existed long before you pick up the book, and it will continue to exist after you finish reading the book and put it down. All right. Very good. Look how, how much more vivid and potent that looks now that we're adding color to the image. Yep. Looking super duper. I'm all fired up. This is going to be my second children's book. More Hilda and Richie books are planned. There's going to be a third book as well as a fourth book. We may even do more after that. There we go. Hilda's done. Now let's take care of little Richie here. Our little adorable fox pup. He's the audience surrogate for children to identify with. Probably I'm going to do the clothing after. Richie will get blue again and Hilda will get a dark pink, which you'll see in a bit. All right, let's switch to the wider chisel tip end.
huh? Look how good Richie is looking there. All right, there we go. Now to take care of their wardrobes, we're going to do Hilda first. She's going to get this darker pink color, a rose pink, applied with an alcohol marker. I used a lot of pink in the first Hilda and Richie book, seeing as the two foxes were constantly blowing bubblegum bubbles. Oh boy, I went through a lot of pink markers in that book. Looks like I'm going to go through this, too, because it looks like this marker is running out. Huh? Yeah, that's a downside of markers. Unless you have refillable Copics, which are quite expensive, they dry out sooner or later, forcing you to buy new ones. Once I make enough money off the uh, Hilda and Ritchie books, I'm going to see about investing maybe in some better markers. I just might get some Copic markers. Right. Hilda and Richie are very close. I mean, she's more than just his legal guardian. She's a companion. She's a confidant. She's a friend. She was always meant to be more like a friend or a big sister to Richie as opposed to a mother or an aunt. She's quite young herself. She's only 20 years old, so she still has a sense of fun and adventure. Yet, she's still a proper lady, so she still has to act quite mature. There we go. Nice image there of Hilda. Now we're going to finish this off with a nice dark blue for Richie, which usually is the color I give him, light blue or dark blue. That in contrast with the orange on his fur as well as Hilda's pink or purple. Blue and orange are complementary colors. I'll look that up online if you don't know what I'm talking about. And there we are, a finished image. Well, that's it for today's video. Remember, we launch in nine days on Wednesday, January 5th. There's a link below to the Kickstarter pre-launch page. If you want to know more about these two foxes, check out the links below. There's also a link to where you can buy their first book. Until next time, friends, it's me, Max West, saying goodbye.